Two years ago today, President Obama signed his signature health care bill into law. I was a little surprised that there wasn't a birthday cake. The White House today not marking the occasion with any candles or big celebration. We thought if they're not going to have a party, we thought we would. This is birthday central. And Vice President Biden had an infamous way of explaining how big of a deal this was. <laughs> Next week may be the single most important week. Obama presidency. The Supreme Court hears oral arguments on the president's signature issue. It is ironclad constitutionally. No, it is not constitutional. Basket brawl. <laughs> Ouch. Romney and Rick Santorum head into another Southern primary, kicking and screaming. Does it even matter? There's Louisiana treatment of an interesting. The president speaking for the first time today about the fatal shooting of an unarmed 17-year-old, Trayvon Martin. This is a tragedy. I can only imagine what these parents are going through. You know, if I had a son, he'd look like Trayvon. I think all of us have to do some soul searching to figure out how does something like this happen. I think the hoodie is as much responsible for Trayvon Martin's death as George Zimmerman was. Then check out this video of presidential candidate Rick Santorum at a sheriff's office shooting range. In Someone in the crowd was heard shouting out, pretend it's Obama. Pretend it's Obama. <laughs> No, 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 no. Tebow mania moves east. We didn't really talk a whole lot about Tebow yesterday. It's ludicrous. I think the Denver Rock Broncos treated him shabbily. Denver will find itself without a quarterback. And in my opinion, it would serve them right. Didn't have a happy ending. Great story.